highly bless everyone and welcome back to our channel so today it's all about pineapples 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 what am i doing with pineapples today well i've got a beautiful product that i wanted to make today and i wanted to show you how this is done and i use pineapples so i want to tell you a little bit about pineapple before we go straight into the video pineapples are packed with vitamin c that protects the hair against damage which make the hair very thick because it creates an extra layer. Pineapple also has vitamin B1 and vitamin B6. And it's also a rich source of antioxidants. Pineapple contains lactic acid and proteins that can be found in yogurt. These compounds help to prevent hair loss by healing the irritated scalp and regulating the sebum, sebum production. So after I've washed and peeled my pineapples, I am going to be using the skin of the pineapple because the pineapple has a flesh eating enzyme that can cause irritation and I don't want that to transfer onto a client's scalp or myself in this instant because I'm making it for myself. So I'm making sure that I boil and kill that enzyme because I don't want it to irritate the scalp and cause further damage now i'll add a few handful of cloves into this um, batch as well as you know cloves help to stimulate hair growth and help to thicken the hair also helps with premature grays and help to clean the scalp so any any scalp issue you have cloves will help to get rid of it because it got anti-inflammatory properties antifungal antibacterial antimicrobial and it's very good for cleaning all right Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name i 
like your um, ingredients or the um, whatever product you're using is bubbling like that you know there's still lots of water content because it's just like if you were cooking or frying anything on the stove then you'd realize that if it's not fried properly it still have that sizzling you know effect of water so and when you put it to the side of the the um, stove cooker hear that so you know it's not quite there yet but it's it's coming together nicely it's coming together nicely so i'll just leave this and let it stay a few more hours all right so that's what i wanted to show you just the observation of when to know that your oil is ready you can see it is settling so it's it's close but it's not there yet because it's still bubbling and the pineapple and clove look still wetty wetty all right see you in a bit so this is how my oil is looking after four hours so this is four hours of simmering in my crock pot and uh, it's almost done but you can still see a bit of water content because it's frosting too much so i'm going to make sure this is dried out completely and then i'll come back when i've already bottled up So here you have it this beautiful oil it turned out really well I've been using this oil for a year now I started last year and I've applied it to my son's hair I can show you um, pictures from seven months apart the one on the left is seven months ago and the one on the right is the current and you can see his hair is full it's thick and it's growing very very healthy you can also use this oil as a pre pool or a hot oil treatment for your hair you can add it to your spray bottles to use as a mist to hydrate your hair throughout the week or you could add it to infuse ingredients such as lavender rosemary or other herbs so you can turn this also into a double ayurvedic um oil treatment all right 